thank you so much for the sign. It's perfect. I love it. It's just what I needed to help make this door look a little better. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I just want to give you a very special Thanksgiving greetings from my house to yours. As you know, my Thrifty Thursdays are always on a Thursday. And my Thrifty Thursdays are usually two days pre-recorded ahead of time. But what did I get at the thrift store? Woohoo! <laughs> it's always so much fun. My Thrifty Thursday videos are my favorite because it's a little bit like show and tell. I always loved show and tell in kindergarten. It was so much fun. But let me get started and I'll share with you what we got today. The first thing I got for 50 cents was this. I thought it was so unique and I assume it is a tissue holder but I'm going to use it some of my cloths that I like to make and I'll figure something out how I'm going to do this. I have it in my mind but isn't that unique for 50 cents? Pretty cool isn't it? <laughs> and then for 50 cents I got these incense cones. Now I don't have incense in my home but they smelled so amazing I thought hey I'll give it a try. So there I got those two items. And then, now some of you would think I overpaid for this because I paid $3.50. As you know, I have another one, and that one I only paid $2 for. But I use these for my candle making. I know a lot of you would not ever use them, but as you can tell, this one was really used. So back in the 60s, the Boy Scouts used to have uh, little kits like this. It would come with a plate, it come with this, and some spoons, and they would take it when they go camping. This is vintage. I'm not sure the date of it, but I love using them for my candles, to melt my candle wax. So I'm really happy for that because I was looking for another one. Do any of you guys remember from the 80s and the 90s, Emily Barnes. Emily Barnes had all kinds of books on how to survive being a homemaker and how to make the best of your day. And this was really neat because this is full menus and they're very frugal menus as well. So it is, Emily Barnes is the co-author of it, Main Dishes. 100 complete menus. And it was all kinds of recipes that I will use. It's a book. You don't have to get a book. Okay, behind me. You all see that? Now, do you remember I got that last week? And I thought they were so dear. Well, I thought, you know what? I hope they had the other two. And guess what? Nobody else bought them from last week. So for 50 cents each, I got the other two of them. I think it looks like the 70s, vintage, and it's brown. I love brown. So it's hard to believe that I guess I'm the only one in the area that has this kind of taste because nobody else wanted it. So I got, I got these items and I'm so thankful that I was able to go this week because it's always so much fun for me. I don't go shopping. I don't go to the mall. I don't do any of that. But my Thrifty Thursdays, I always love. And to think, I was doing Thrifty Thursdays for 33 years, almost 33 years now. <sighs> I never dreamed that I'd be having videos of it. So I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a great weekend. The day after Thanksgiving for me is Black Friday and I don't do any shopping. Uh-uh. Black Friday, I do my decorating for Christmas. The Dollar Tree too, and I got three items. Now, as you know, I'm on a spending purge. I'm not trying to spend as much, but there was a few items that I really wanted for decorating for Christmas and I don't spend much on Christmas decorating. So I'll show you the, what I got at the Dollar Tree and then I'll show you what I got at the thrift store. As you know, I keep my thrift stores going because I love having my thrift store videos. I just think it's so unique in my channel. So let's see what I spent. I spent a total do I spent a total of three dollars and fifty six cents. The first thing I got was for fifty cents was this and the reason why I got this because I have a basket that I need to put something in the bottom of my basket for when I collect my eggs and when I take things away I have this really special basket that I like but the bottom of it needs some kind of cushioning so for 50 cents I got this I'm really excited about this because I got these coffee filters for a dollar 
And the reason why I'm excited for these coffee filters, as you know, I make a lot of my own tinctures. And I have a lot of videos on them. But these coffee filters are shaped like this. So they're shaped like a cone shape. So they are good to put in my colander. So you'll see that in upcoming videos. It's hard to explain. But they are shaped in a triangle. So when I strain my herbs, I can put my herbs in here and it will fit really nice into my strainer that I have. So I'm really glad for that because a lot of the coffee filters are like little baskets. And it doesn't really fit very good, but these coffee filters are shut. These coffee filters are shaped like a cone, see? And that's going to be really great for what I need it for. And then for 35 cents, I got these four on my Christmas tree. They're beautiful. Now, I know some of you girls have given me crocheted little snowflakes, which I collect. But I'm going to put these on my Christmas tree. Because, as you know, I like old-fashioned things. And then, this kind of goes with my... In fact, it really goes with my chicken. Remember my chicken I got? I didn't even think about that. Oh, my word. Well, we came from the same house. Okay, well, these were 50 cents each, which I thought was a little high priced, but I gotta go get my chicken. Just wait. Okay, so here's my, here's my chicken. I think this may came from the same house. I don't know, but look. Isn't it retro, like 1970s? Woohoo! I like it. Oh my goodness. That's kind of cute. I've got to figure out what I want to do with that. And then I got something really, really unique. I know I didn't need to get this, but dollar, brand new. And it is another binder. I mean, it is cute. It comes with its own paper. It's herbs. It's all herbs. So, oh my word! Look, there's, there's actually recipes in the back of it. I love it. Oh my word, somebody had recipes in here. That is really cute. I'm actually going to work on that this afternoon because it's a really cold and rainy day. So the Dollar Tree I don't have anything electric as far as decorating for Christmas, but I really wanted to get another one of these. My son gave me one and it didn't work anymore. So I accidentally broke the bulb from it and it wouldn't work. So I got this for a dollar and then I got these two items. I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. But it's really expensive in a craft store. And I love this. And they actually had this. It, what it is, is it's a garland of looking berries. Love this stuff. And I can't afford it normally, but I can't believe they had it at the Dollar Tree. And then I got these battery lights. And then little snowflakes for on my Dollar Tree Christmas tree. Which I'm going to be getting out here real soon. I want to start Christmas a little early because that way I get my videos out before Christmas so people can actually enjoy them and actually do some decorating with some of the things that I do. So there you go. It's my Thrifty Thursday and my $3 Dollar Tree haul, which is something I'm going to use. Probably this I'll use all year round. I just love this. Hopefully someday they'll get it in the blue, the berry, because I love the blue berry of it too. Pretty cool. So. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, if you like these Thrifty Thursday videos and you see my videos and wonder where the items come from, go ahead and click on one of my playlists. It's right here. It's right below me. Do you see it? Click on that and you get to see all the things that I've gotten and you get to watch them in my future videos. Take care everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow.